When you're finished testing your site locally and you're ready to publish it online, there's two different methods that you can choose from. One option is to export the HTML directly and handle it yourself. We covered this in the earlier movie. The other option is to publish directly to Business Catalyst. If you've never heard of Business Catalyst, it's a way to manage and upload your websites directly from Muse. Probably the easiest way to get your content online because you don't have to deal with code at all. Business Catalyst will handle all of your hosting. And what I mean by that is it takes all of the HTML and CSS files that Muse generates and puts them online so other people can view the website. You can publish on your own, but Business Catalyst makes it very easy. In this movie, we're going to create a test site. When you publish your site, you can either publish it to a temporary test site so other people can see the website for a short while, or you can publish it to your own domain, like www.thenameofyourcompany.com. To publish your website, just press the Publish button at the top of the screen, or you can go to File, Publish. Because this is an already published website, it's connected to a URL. So what I'm going to do is go down to Options and change where I'm going to publish to. In this case, we'll choose New Site. If you've never published with Muse before, this is how your screen would look. Our first step is to create a site name. If you want to try to enter your own URL, you can do that. But for now, I'm going to keep this default. We can also choose the data center that's closest to you. The automatic will sense your location, but in this case, I'm still going to choose the United States. I'll click OK, and now Adobe Business Catalyst is creating a temporary site for us. Now the website has been published online. You could share this URL with anyone, and they'll be able to view it. The URL that's created is unique to this website. Now, it's kind of long, and we probably don't want to use this for our actual website, but it's fine for testing purposes. After publishing to this temporary site, the website will stay online for 30 days. Anytime you make a change to the Muse file, it will be renewed for another two weeks, and you can do this for up to two years. But eventually, you're going to want to transfer it to your own URL. Even though it doesn't have an ideal URL, it's a great way to quickly get your content online for testing or showing your client the progress of the site.